The denture base is that part of the denture which rests on the soft tissues and do not include the artificial teeth. Well, there are two types of materials which are used as denture base materials. Number one, metallic denture base materials and number two, polymeric denture base materials. In this lecture, I am going to discuss polymeric denture base materials. For the lecture on uh, the metallic denture base materials, you are referred to my uh, previous lecture on base metal casting alloys. The acrylic resin, which is chemically known as polymethylmethacrylate, is the most widely used denture base polymer for the fabrication of uh, the partial or complete dentures. According to ISO, the acrylic denture base materials are classified into five types. Type 1 has uh, two subdivisions, which is either powder liquid formulation or plastic cake formulation. Then type 2 uh, is autopolymerizing or self-cure uh, acrylic in the form of powder and liquid or either in the form of pore type resin. Type 3 is uh, thermoplastic acrylic, type 4 is light activated acrylic material, whereas type 5 is microwave cured acrylic denture base material. Out of these 5 types, only type 1 and type 2 which is uh, heat activated and uh, auto polymerizing type of acrylic resins are most widely used as denture base materials. They are available in powder and liquid formulation uh, out of which the powder is polymethylmethacrylate polymer beads whereas the liquid it is methylmethacrylate monomer. Let's check out the composition of type 1 and type 2 denture based polymers. Uh, first the powder component. Uh, the powder component contains polymethylmethacrylate beads with the benzyl peroxide initiator which is responsible for the start of the polymerization reaction. It also contains salt of uh, cadmium and uh, iron which are the pigments which give the pinkish color to the denture base. The liquid contains methyl methacrylate monomer and uh, cross-linking agent which is ethylene glycol dimethacrylate. Uh, it also contains hydroquinone as an inhibitor which controls the polymerization reaction. In case of type 1 which is uh, heat cure acrylic, the activator is heat. Whereas in case of type 2 which is self cure acrylic, the activator is dimethyl p-toluidine which activates the initiator and the polymerization reaction starts. Both powder and liquid components are mixed together and there are three stages of mixing. Number one sandy stage, number two stringy stage and number three is the dough stage. Initially when the powder and liquid components are mixed, the mixture resembles just like a wet sand. So that's why the first stage is sandy stage. Secondly, when the mixture is elevated with the help of the stirrer or the mixing spatula, it fails to separate and the strings are seen in the mixture. And that's why this stage is called as stringy stage. When the strings are no more seen and the mixture can be easily separated into two halves, uh, that stage is called as dough stage. Dough stage is the most important as the packing of acrylic is done when the material is in this stage. Once the material gets hard, it reaches beyond the dough stage. It is impossible to pack the material into the dental flask. After packing, the curing is performed. Uh, there are different curing cycles recommended by the textbook. Uh, the first cycle, we heat the dental flask, which contains the dough, for 7 hours at 70 degrees centigrade. Then, for the next 3 hours, we raise the temperature to 100 degrees centigrade. In the second recommended curing cycle, the flask is placed in the cold water and the temperature is raised up to the boiling point of water over the period of 1 hour. After 1 hour, the heat is turned off and the flask along with the water are allowed to cool at the room temperature. The third type of curing cycle is the one in which the flask containing dough is placed directly into the boiling water. Well, uh, this type of curing cycle is not at all recommended by many manufacturers and it can raise the temperature of the dough up to 150 degrees centigrade which is not at all recommended. Out of these three curing cycles, only the second curing cycle is recommended by most manufacturers for the heat cure acrylic resins. After curing, the deflasking is done in which the gypsum mold is taken out of the dental flask. Finishing is done with the help of stone or vulcanite burrs to remove the soft plaster from the denture base. The luster and shine is given by polishing with the pumice powder. After that, a smooth, shiny acrylic denture is ready for insertion into the patient's mouth. With the passage of time, certain modifications are done uh, in the acrylic denture-based polymers. 
One such attempt is the incorporation of the carbon fiber inserts in order to improve the fatigue resistance of the acrylic denture based polymer. If these carbon fibers are correctly positioned, they may have a beneficial effect like uh, they reduce the degree of flexing and the possibility of the fatigue fracture also reduces. These carbon inerts are also helpful in increasing the flexural strength of the acrylic denture based polymer. Well, there are certain patients which are allergic to the acrylic denture based resins and for those patients the alternative polymer options are polycarbonates and vinyl polymers. The polycarbonates and some of the vinyl polymers they are uh, processed by injection molding technique uh, so they can only be used when the specialist equipment is available. The polycarbonates they have glass transition temperature value of 150 degrees centigrade and generally molded at temperatures within the excess of this. Considerably uh, the molded bases may have internal stresses after molding and they are likely to distort if they are placed in hot water. Uh, some of the vinyl resins on the other hand they have very low softening temperature uh, as low as uh, about 60 degrees centigrade. In order to avoid the distortions the polyvinyls must be handled and processed with immense care. So this was a brief lecture on denture based polymers. I hope it was helpful and informative. Thank you very much. Take care.